Hello and welcome to Biocapsules. As we know, transposable elements are present in almost all the living organisms, whether they are prokaryotic or eukaryotic. So in this video lecture, we'll discuss about the transposable elements in prokaryotes. So let's start with the topic. Prokaryotic transposable elements are of two types. One is insertion sequence elements and another is bacterial transposons. We'll discuss both of them. So first start with insertion sequence elements. Insertion sequence elements, they are the short DNA sequences, nearly around 1500 nucleotide pairs, fully autonomous, and they contain a single gene in their coding region, which encodes for protein transposons. They are the simplest transposable elements in terms of structure and morphology and they were first characterized in 1970s from an E. coli galactosoperon where they were causing a wild type to mutant and a mutant to wild type transposition by inserting into a bacteri bacterial genes. Okay, now this is, a, this is a basic structure of an insertion sequence element. It consists of a coding region in the center and this coding region is surrounded by two almost identical sequences. These identical sequences are in inverted orientation with respect to each other. So these sequences are called inverted terminal repeats. And the length of these inverted terminal repeats varies from 9 to 40 nucleotide pairs. Okay, now in the coding region of IS element, there is a single gene, which is gene transposase, and it encodes for protein transposase. And this protein transposase helps in the movement of insertion sequence elements. Okay, now these IS elements are present in very low copy number, that is 5 to 18 copies per chromosome per cell. Since these elements contain only a single gene and they do not provide any resistance to a bacteri bacteria. So these, uh, so these elements are present in only bacterial chromosomal DNA, not in plasmid DNA. I repeat, since these elements do not contain any other gene uh, except transposase and they do not provide any resistance to bacteria, so these elements are present only in chromosomal DNA, not in plasmid DNA. Okay. Now next prokaryotic transposable element is bacterial transposon. These transposons are comparatively bigger in size than IS element and they contain other genes also apart from transposes such as antibiotic resistance genes. Okay. Uh, now these bacterial transposons are also of two type. First is simple transposon, also known as non-composite transposons and another is composite transposons. So we'll discuss both of them. So first start with simple transposon. First bacterial transposon is simple or non-composite transposon. These are large transposons, nearly about 5000 nucleotide pairs long and their coding region is surrounded by two simple inverted repeats. And the length of these simple inverted repeat sequences varies from 38 to 40 nucleotide pair. And in their coding region, they also contain other genes apart from transposes, such as antibiotic resistance genes. Okay. Now, one such example of simple transposon is TN3. This transposon contains three genes, namely TNPA, TNPR, and BLA gene. The gene TNPA, it encodes for transposase, which helps in movement of this transposon. And the gene TNPR, it encodes for resolvase, which helps in opening of lollipop, of, lollipop or co-integrate structure during cut-paste or copy-paste mechanism of transposition. And third one, which is BLA gene, it encodes for beta lactamase, which breaks down or degrades amphicillin and makes the cell resistance to amphicillin. Okay. Next bacterial transposon is 
composite transposon. These are those transposon in which the central coding region is surrounded by two IS elements. Okay, I repeat, these are those transposons in which they in which the central coding region is surrounded by two IS element and the external inverted repeats of these IS elements is used for transposition while the internal repeat of both the IS elements are heavily mutated so that these elements do not separate from transposon itself. Okay. Also, the transposis gene of both the IS elements are lost or mutated for the purpose of controlling the transposition by the transposon, not by these IS elements. Now, the composite transposon are just the extension of simple transposon in the sense they contain other gene also in addition to transposes. These genes uh, can be antibiotic resistant genes. Okay. That's all in this video. If you liked the video, hit the like button and thank you for joining.